Is a cell tower going up in your neighborhood? If it's not now, it may soon. Wireless carriers are installing millions of them across the country to enable the new, faster 5G cell phone technology. But tonight, Julie Watts asked the question you're not supposed to ask. Are there legitimate health concerns? If you would briefly, what are your credentials with McGill University? I am at the Faculty of Medicine. I am the director of the Occupational Health Program at, uh, within the Department of Epidemiology, Biostatistics and Occupational Health. I don't know how you can support the deployment of 5G, a new cellular system that will seriously enhance human exposure to electromagnetic radiation. All human cancer, leukemia, colon, breast cancer, lung cancer respond to electromagnetic radiation at levels hundreds of times below the FCC recommendations. By the way, the FCC have zero medical and biological expertise. They take their marching orders from the Institute of Electrical and Electronics Engineers. You can put one of your poles 10 feet away from somebody's house. Correct. 10 feet away out. from somebody's house. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then the antenna, 360 degrees, mm, um, whatever's being emitted there is going into somebody's house. So what we're looking to do is um, locate mainly on corners uh, so we can get that 360 degree uh, uh, coverage area. It also allows us to avoid the trees. Um, but houses are on corners sometimes. So, some houses are on corners. Look, we're not looking to uh, violate anyone's uh, um, space. Uh, we do uh, always consider people's property uh, and where to put these uh, uh, locations and devices. Um, so we do our best uh, in every circumstance to keep uh, uh, residents concerns in mind. Look, we're not looking to uh, violate anyone's I'm producing lower fertility. And as I'll say later, we're in terrible trouble on this. We're already seeing huge effects. There are also neurological and neuropsychiatric effects uh, based on 25 reviews, and we know that those are caused by EMF exposure. Some analyses of 5G networks have concluded that transmitters will be required every two to 10 houses. Unfortunately, it's the FCC that sets what a safe level of radiation exposure is, not the FDA or the CDC. Everybody in this room needs to understand the FCC is staffed by former members of the telecommunication industry. They are effectively indemnified against adverse health impact lawsuits when the uh, acceptable limits are higher than the limits actually shown to show harmful health effects. I'm a certified Microsoft small business specialist. I worked on space station designing the cabling system for the airlock module, where I was responsible for EMI, EMC analysis, which is electromagnetic interference. We have been um, misled and told there is no scientific evidence when in fact, there are thousands of studies showing effects at levels below allowable limits. In fact, the United States has among the highest allowable radio frequency levels in the world. Currently, the US Army uses microwave radiation 95 gigahertz, that's just 5 gigahertz, up from uh, the wireless spectrum these uh, small cell wireless facilities uh, will enable. The U.S. military is using 95 gigahertz as a biological weapon called the active denial system. And there are now thousands of studies showing the following adverse health impacts to wireless radiation. Cancer, oxidative damage, DNA damage, DNA failure, cardiac arrhythmias and other effects on the heart muscle as well as blood pressure and vascular effects. ADHD is skyrocketing, behavioral disorders and learning difficulties, sleep disturbances and memory loss, changes involving the blood-brain barrier and effects on neuron, neuron firing rates in the EEGs, disrupted immune function and change in stress proteins, reproductive and fertility effects. December of 2018, I sent a letter to FCC Commissioner Carr asking him to cite for me recent scientific studies demonstrating the safety of this technology. What research has been done? Where has it been published and compiled? He has essentially failed to do so. Um, how much 
money has the industry committed to supporting additional independent research? I stress independent research. And we're talking about research on the biological effects of this new technology. Thank you, Senator. I, I think, uh, thank you for your focus on the issue. Uh, safety is paramount, and as you alluded to, we rely on the expert agencies, we rely on the findings of the FDA and others as to the requirements to keep all of us safe. Uh, there are no industry back studies, to my knowledge right now. Happy to visit with you as to what uh, opportunities you think there needs to be more studies, and we're always for more science. We also rely on what the scientists tell us. So essentially, the answer to my question, how much money? Zero. Uh, I can certainly f- follow up with you, Senator. To my knowledge, there's no active studies being backed by industry today. Anybody else know of industry commitments to... to but no, I'm not aware of any... So there really is no research ongoing. We're kind of flying blind here, so far as health and safety is concerned. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Hi folks, Canadian Prepper here. So as many of you know, I'm a big proponent of modern technology and innovation. I love my gadgets as much as the next guy. Even though I might come off as technophobic at times, I still like cool stuff. And I for one was quite excited about all the possibilities of the supposed internet of things, in spite of the whole Orwellian, draconian, brave new world level of coercion that we would all likely be under. I was still hopeful, but you know, I started doing some research on this and it turns out that almost, I can't seem to find any legitimate counterpoints to a lot of very intelligent people who are saying this is bad and it's bad for your health. And the only people who are saying that it's not bad are the people who are profiting off it. So that makes me wonder, you know, and I mean, I stand to benefit from 5G, you know, being a YouTuber, I'm very heavily enmeshed into the grid. I personally was very excited about 5G and the internet world of smart things or smart dust where, you know, everything would have a center, a sensor and interact with everything else and the augmented reality and the virtual reality and the robotics and the automation and the 3D printing and all the rest, even the, the bio, you know, cybernetic fusion of man and machine all sounds pretty cool, right? Well, it does sound cool until you start doing the research into the Uh, actual health effects because we've got to remember we are biological organisms i mean we have so many freaking radio frequencies going through us right now if you add 5g on top of that most medical professionals are calling for much more discretion for implementing 5g technology and they're just rolling it out you know they're having public hearings on it in the various cities that it's going to be implemented of course they're going to implement it in the biggest cities right away. So I'm a person who wants to be a believer in 5G. So I'm trying to find information to the contrary of what all these high ranking medical professionals are saying. But all it is, it's these FCC uh, talking heads and these telecom talking heads saying it's safe. They don't provide you any scientific research or data that proves that. They just say, oh, it's been deemed safe by the FCC. But As far as I know, the FCC is not a regulatory body which is comprised of medical health epidemiologist uh, professionals who actually would know about this stuff. So how would they know? So this makes me wonder if 5G is going to be the next asbestos because they're just rolling this out like it's no tomorrow. Everybody's excited about it. So the legislators and the, the government bodies they don't really understand, you know, the, this technology and the, this potential side effects of it. And I don't think I've been impacted by the current radio frequencies. You know, even though they technically say you're supposed to hold your cell phone like 12 inches from your head, you're not supposed to put it right up to your head. Not many people use their phone like that anymore anyways. And you're not supposed to keep it near your body and all that. I've done that. I haven't noticed any health effects, knock on wood, yet. But hey... <laughs> that ship is never late, right? So I just think, you know, the time to get off the grid is now. Because if you ask me, you know, we got maybe a few years before they roll out 
this 5G thing, it's gonna take them probably 10 years to, I mean, they're talking about blanketing the entire continent with 5G, which just sounds absurd. Like who is, who is in charge here with regards to this? What are they thinking? I mean, this is gonna be a $300 billion endeavor to blanket the entire continent with these cell towers that are every 300 freaking meters. I mean, can you believe that? There was a house that we went and looked at probably four years ago, and there was this, all I seen was a cell tower right next to it. I'm like, screw that, I ain't going anywhere near that. So I mean, would you move yourself knowingly to a cell tower? And the people who are pushing for this, like in that video clip I showed, I mean, they just look like a bunch of prudes. Like, I'm not trying to be prejudiced or anything, but. I mean, these people look like they're, you know, remote control people. Maybe they come from a law background or something like that, but they just appear to be soulless people who are making these arguments. And the arguments they're making, they're strictly based on the law. Uh, all of the talking points they have is basically that this is the law, this is, you know, the exceptions that we've been granted and, you know, we're gonna operate within the guidelines of blah, blah, blah they still don't take into account the potential health effects. I mean, millimeter waves, you know, at high concentrations are used as the active denial system. It's a riot control system. So, you know, you point it at a crowd and it makes you feel like your skin's on fire and you have to run out of the way. This is this old technology that's been around for pff, probably 15 years. Now, the one counterpoint study I heard was that the majority of the 5G radiation is gonna be absorbed by your skin. So it's not gonna penetrate into your organs. But you know, what are you gonna have then? Is, are the melanoma rates gonna go up? I don't know, all I can say, man, is that they're gonna move through it with this. And as much as I would, you know, I'm gonna love those high-speed downloads if I'm still on the grid when it gets here. But I tell you, it, it doesn't seem good to me. It does not seem good. We need to remember that it was the same big corporations that had doctors and commercials marketing cigarettes for people. You know, I mean, that, was, that wasn't that long ago. And what has really fundamentally changed? You know, there's some ethics boards, there's more documentaries, there's various exposés of whatnot. And the explanation as to why they need to go with 5G and why they can't consider any alternatives whatsoever is because people need data, damn it. They need it right now. We need to give it to them. There's a high demand. But I mean, clearly the demand is, is, is being met. I mean, everybody's cell phones are working, right? So the, what they're trying to do is create more networked externalities off of this 5G. And they're using, uh, you know, the, the Trojan horse is, well, doctors are gonna be used to operate, you know, surgeries from miles away. Well, why not just put it, you know, there? And why not just turn it on when you need it? You know, if, if that's the only purpose or if that's what you're trying to sell it as. And I get they wanna bring in autonomous cars, but even that too, is it really that pressing of an issue that we get autonomous cars right away? You know, so a lot of the rationale is fairly suspicious. And I'm not trying to be Mr. Conspiracy Guy around here. You know, there's plenty of that to go around the internet. But what I can say for me personally, this is the harbinger of, I need to get the hell out of the city. This is a sign that I need to get the hell out of Dodge because they're bringing this in and they're gonna blanket. Fortunately, I live in a town. I don't live in a major city, so 5G for me is probably realistically like three or four years away. But you know, once they get rolling that out, never mind all the panoptical surveillance aspects of the technology. I'm not even talking about that. I'm just talking about the health effects. A lot of other, you know, NWO types are talking about the all the surveillance aspects. And while there's definitely cause for concern there, we're already wrapped up in that from front to back. But the thing with 5G, you know, there was a technology that came out probably 10 years ago and it allows you to determine who a person is on just by looking at their gait, like so the way they walk. So if you integrated that with some sort of, you know, like 5G is gonna create a nice uh, picture, probably like a sonar picture. You remember that movie Batman where they, you know, tapped into all the phones and he was able to, 
determine who is where or whatever the heck. That's probably what they're going to be able to do with this technology. There's going to be some way that, you know, Google Maps integrates this and they're going to have a real time Google Maps. This is just my theory. You know, Google Maps, you go Google Street View. My guess is that it's going to be like a 3D rendition street view. You know, it's going to show you who's walking there. Now, you might not see the actual people like you might. It's not going to be cameras. It's going to be some sort of sonar technology. I don't know what I'm talking about, but hey, if you can imagine it, then so can they. And when I mean they, I mean, you know, they are technocratic overlords. Uh, then they could probably bring it into being. And is it really that far fetched? Really? I mean, you remember that movie Idiocracy where Not Sure is trying to escape the cops and he's driving down the street and his barcode gets scanned while he's driving by. I mean, what if they just have a technology like that? Like obviously they're gonna have facial recognition, all the rest. But I mean, what if they could just scan your, your DNA from afar? I mean, right now, I mean, 10 years ago, the machine that was used to process uh, DNA was probably the size of a room. Now I'm sure it's much smaller. It's only a matter of time before they can project that with some sort of, you know, high definition camera or whatever the case might be. I don't know what I'm talking about. Look guys, all I'm saying is that the health problems associated with 5G are making me want to get the hell out of Dodge. Find me something, some conclusive evidence that says that this is all hype because it certainly doesn't seem that way. When you have, you know, doctors who are probably making a lot of money, not just doctors, but you know, heads of various departments causing a stink about this, real important people making a stink about this, then, you know, that's got to make you think that this is some serious business. And for the most part, it's falling on deaf ears. You look on YouTube, you put up 5G, all you see is all of the fantastic things that it's going to bring us. And once again, that's awesome. I'm totally interested in the future of the internet of things. I'm not naive to the Faustian bargain, which we have to make with that stuff. You know, you give a little and they take a little of your soul, right? Especially when it's ruled over by all these telecoms networks. And I would much rather that be something which was more heavily overseen by a government body because you leave that in the hands of them they're just trying to make money they don't care if they put this in you know in front of a little old lady's house and all of a sudden you know a couple months later she comes down with the stage four cancer you know they don't care about those kind of things right so and they're protected legally to do that it's illegal for you to deny them to do that they've got it all written into the laws it's crazy man like i say i've been searching the internet for the last week to try to find some evidence that this is not harmful to humans. And every time I go for a search and I go down, I go to the second page of Google, what I see is things saying that it's potentially harmful. And the only people who are saying it's not harmful is the FCC, who all the legislators listen to. So what's up with that? Anyways, I think it's time to get your ass off the grid. But hey, that's just my opinion. Let me know what you think in the comment section. Thanks for watching Canadian Preparation. By gearing up through CanadianPreparedness.com or BugOutRoll.ca. Premium quality gear at the best possible price using the incredibly secure and easy to use Shopify platform. We offer free shipping to the United States for orders over $200 USD and free shipping to Canada over $75. So support the channel by supporting yourself.